The year was 1857, September 12th, and a new nation found themselves in turmoil. There were economic failures and a large cloud looming over the nation, whether or not there was to be a civil war. Within that cloud arose a ship, the SS Central America. It carried lots of gold. Gold has gripped mankind since its discovery. Captain John A. Sutter discovered a small flake of gold in a river while looking for lumber in California. In 1850, people were able to travel from east to west in a steamer ship. In August of 1857, the SS Sonora departed from San Francisco with 1.1 million 1857 US dollars in gold. The ship successfully arrived in Panama and the gold was put onto a train. The train soon arrived at its destination and the gold was put aboard the SS Central America. Hours into the trip, the breeze intensified into a strong wind, and the ship was being thrown side to side by the waves, but the ship persevered as it was in the middle of a raging hurricane. On 9-11-1857, the steamer was beginning to take water into, into its engine and was beginning to be badly damaged. At 11 a.m., a water brigade was set up on the ship to purge the water from the ship. At 1 p.m., the Brig Marine had come to save the passengers from the sinking SS Central America. At 8 p.m., the SS Central America's hull collapsed and sunk into the depths. 425 people, including the captain, went down with the ship and along with $2 million of gold, which in today would be $300 million. Over 7,000 gold coins were discovered in 1988 exactly 131 years after it sank. The Central America serves as a reminder of a specific time in American history. In 2018, while treasure hunting on Anna Maria Island, Bob found what is believed to be a gold nugget from the sunken SS Central America.